So you just started scanning your film with your digital camera, but you're still looking for a conversion software? Stay tuned, cause I got a completely free one for you. So, when you're scanning your color negative film, you need software like Negative Lab Pro, Silverfast, or similar to convert those negatives to positive pictures. But most of these programs have one thing in common. They cost money. So, what's up? My name is Joe, and I will show you a free alternative to those paid conversion programs. It is made by the well-known brand Domography and it's called the Lomo Digitalizer Lab. It's an addition to the digitizing product line and available online completely for free. We're taking a look at the functions this program has to offer and compare the results to Negative Lab Pro. So with that being said, we take a look at the program. Okay, so let's dive into the program and the functions it has to offer. First of all, we upload our negative by using the upload button right here. Then we choose our negative. One thing I have to say is that it, that the program only accepts non-raw photos. So you have to shoot in JPEG or convert your raw, uh, raw photo to a JPEG or PNG or whatever. Uh, in my case, I just uh, use the shots I got straight out of my Fujifilm X-T4. Okay, um, we start by converting a black and white photo, a shot in the Alps. So if it uploaded, it should already be converted. If not, you can use this button to convert your negative to a positive. So great, then you choose your black point with this button right here. Uh, you click it and then you have to select the black point inside the picture. So maybe like here or anywhere or maybe also here. And then uh, you also can adjust your black point with uh, this slider right here. Also, what I forgot to say is that if you're converting black and white photos, you should use this button here. Uh, it's converts your color photo to a black and white photo, so you won't have any color shift. So secondly, of course, you have to choose the white point by using this button right here, and then you click in your photo and select your white point, which you also can adjust by uh, using this slider right here. Okay, if you like what you see and you, you accept your final image, then you can download it and it will get saved right into your download folder. Okay, two other buttons which I didn't mention are this one here. Uh, this adjusts the uh, off angle. Uh, if you've got any angle your picture shouldn't be, you can adjust it right here. And the reset button. If you just want to get back to the start, you can just use this button and it will get straight to the beginning. So, now we converted a black and white photo, so we continue by deleting this one from our program and uploading a new negative. In my case, it's a color negative, a Portra 800 photo. Um, I just select maybe this one here. This is a good example. Uh, it's the palm who's it in, uh, what's it called, uh, yeah, uh, Gothenburg, Sweden. Right, so you convert it with this button here, like I told you earlier. Then you choose the black point, maybe here in the corner, or maybe here. And then you also choose the white point, which in my case might be a little bit more interesting. Yeah. Okay. Also, I have to tell you that you can't adjust your, your white balance, which is quite annoying. So you have to use your black and white point to click around and try and error to find maybe any good spot which has not a too bad white balance and you get your warmth or your cold you want. So in this case, I honestly like it a little bit. Maybe we can just adjust 
the white point a little bit better and the black point also maybe here so that we get a little bit more warmth yeah okay so i think that's not too bad and we can download it also and yeah here we go so we can just take a look no uh, it's the wrong one so this one is the one i want to show you so overall uh, for a couple of seconds of work it's not too bad i guess and also it's completely free so yeah i guess uh, it's not too bad um, i'm gonna convert some more of my photos from sweden and then i'm going to show you a comparison between those photos i converted uh, in negative Lab pro and these ones i converted in the, the lomography uh, conversion tool. So, in the end, what are my thoughts on the Lomo Digitalizer Lab? Uh, I wrote some pros and cons down and I'm just gonna read them to you. So first of all, obvious, obviously it's completely for free, so yeah, you definitely can try it out and uh, make up your own opinion, so it's definitely worth a shot. So yeah, that's definitely one big positive point. Uh, secondly, uh, it's quite easy and it's quite fast. You just have to select your white and black point and basically that's it. So yeah, you just have to get lucky with the white balance points. So yeah, it's just like a try and error, but yeah. If you get it right, uh, it's quite fast. So I, seem, uh, I think it's a good pro point. Also, it's uh, usable on the smartphone browser, so it's quite easy to just scan with your phone and then convert it directly in your iPhone browser or uh, Android browser or whatever. So, yeah, it's quite easy and fast. You can also use your phone, which is a big point for those uh, smartphone scanning guys. Yeah, uh, the negative points are that you uh, can't adjust the white balance in the uh, in the picture, which is a big minus point for me, um, because all of my results were quite a little bit too much to the colder side, which I didn't like at all. Uh, especially those um, what's it called? Those sunrise shots were were way too cold, which is. Uh, a big bummer so it's not that great also you have basic adjustments like i said you just can adjust just can adjust it you just can adjust the black and the white point and that's basically it's uh, you have to use those uh, settings to set the uh, overall exposure and stuff so yeah also, one more negative point is that you can't use uh, raw photos, uh, which gives you a little bit less uh, room to play around with. So yeah, that's definitely a negative point. So overall, um, you can definitely try it out. And especially if you don't want to spend like a hundred bucks for Negative Lab Pro, it's definitely worth a shot and you can build your own opinion and yeah. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button and you maybe stick around. I've got some upcoming interesting videos for you. I bought some Ektachrome 160T I guess and some other expired uh, 120 film and I'm trying to uh, test them out for you. So stay tuned.